Oh. What are you doing? Who cares? No, it's, 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 it. it's a weekly update. Shit's uncanny. Alright? Oh, no. We already roll it. No. We lie. Mm. Say hi. Daddy. Say hi to everybody. He looks great. Hi, what's going on everybody? I'm actually coming after you here. I thought this was a good idea, <laughs> but I don't know if it was. <laughs> but, um, Rafi, say hi. All right, so we got a couple things we're gonna be talking about today in this weekly update. We got publishing update and changes. We got Miami meetup, and I'm gonna give you three tips. Can you show them three? That's two. I'm gonna give you one tip and she'll give you two. That's three, that's one. We working on that. Um, on how to keep your New Year's resolutions. Right, because January 20th is, January 12th is actually the date most people have given up on their New Year's resolutions. So, she knows Poppy's always right. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so how's everyone's weeks going? It has been an incredible, incredible week. Tons of things going on. But uh, we, we film in this, I know Rafi is excited. We film in this on the 12th, and today is actually the day, statistically, that most people give up on their New Year's resolutions. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to lay down um, three things that have really helped me keep my resolutions. I don't even call them that, I just call them goals, um, throughout the entire year to accomplish them um, because each year has been getting better and better and better, um, you know, so let's, let's go through them. So number one, number one thing is writing them down and seeing them daily. I keep, can't see it, but up on the whiteboard, I just keep my, yeah, I know you can see it. See, Bobby. That's correct. And, uh, you know, I keep them up there so I can see them. Constant reminder since that's kind of like the office. Uh, so I see them all daily. And then also up on the wall, I have what's called my vision. It's not really a board because I just take hey, the paper. I just take the papers and, yeah, and, and stick them up on the wall. Yeah, of, you know, the things that I really want to go after for that year. So every yeah, morning, Bobby. every morning when yeah, I wake Bobby. up, it's like one of the first things I see. I open my eyes, boom. Reminded of my, what my annual goals are. The, sec the, the second tip is breaking them down into monthly actionable steps. Mommy. He's all good. He ain't gonna fall. Mommy. Parenting's really just a balancing act, right? It's keeping your kids fed and keeping them alive. Those are my parenting tips. Anyways, we get into it. So breaking them down monthly into actionable steps because. You know, the goal for the business is to do 750 to a million dollars this year in revenue. But I have that broken down into each month, each month, what I need to be getting done, and more importantly, where that's gonna be coming from, from the various programs, right? But if you're looking at doing like a health goal, right? Say your goal is to run, like in 2000, and, oh boy, 17, I ran my first marathon, right? Now, so it's like, okay, so I need to run 42 kilometers. I need to bite, you know, for every month, I need to run X amount of kilometers. Every week, I need to increase my kilometers by X amount. By doing those, by doing those small, by doing those small little changes or those small, smaller goals that you can go after. Yeah, I, I, I know, sweetie, they know I'm right. It's okay. Yeah, puppy. Um, I want to know in the comments, was this a good idea? <laughs> Um, the changes, or the, the goals that you're going after, fuck, I'm going to have to edit that. Okay, where was it? What was I even talking about? The marathon. Right, so you want to know where you're increasing, um, I think you just took a crap on my leg. Okay, I'm sorry to doubt if this is a good idea. Anyways. <laughs> Break down your goals into smaller chunks. <laughs> Number three, find people to keep you accountable. Now, the best people to keep keep you accountable, guess who they are? No, 
not a freaking six month old or a three year old. They're not gonna keep you accountable for shit. Yeah, I swear for my kids, get over it. You have to find people who are like-minded individuals like you to keep you accountable for your goals, right? That's why I'm part of different masterminds. Hey, Bobby. That's why I'm part of different masterminds, and yeah, uh, you know, the, the the some of the, the the most important people in my life, outside of my family, are the ones you know I I I want to hold hold me accountable. We check in every week. Um, you know, of course, you know your spouse, whoever it is, you know they they keep me accountable as well. But um, one of the things that I share my goals on YouTube for. Right? That's one of the reasons that I started the channel was it was going to force me to keep keep myself yeah, accountable Bobby. because if I tell everybody then oh I got to do yeah, it Bobby. right because then it just doesn't make me look good if I don't hit my goal. Yeah, Bobby. Um, All right, let's get into some updates. Okay, Academy is open right now. Uh, it's filling up fast. There's only 20 spots. Um, and the first call is January 23rd. Um, so this is your best chance, those of you who are in, in the publishing, this is your best chance to work with me without having to pay the one-on-one -on -one fees. Um, it's weekly calls on how to build an actual six-figure a year business with, with self-publishing. She might even be running a Mommy, few calls in a few months. Okay. Um, so okay. I'll put the links down below. But uh, this is going to be, you know, my self publishing blueprint has been the staple for self publishers over the last little bit on how to build your, you know, how to make your first thousand dollars online. This is going to be the next step. This is what's going to dominate and take over the space for 2019 on showing people. You're right. I'm telling them what's up. Showing them how to build a true six-figure business around self-publishing. Um, and speaking of six-figure publishers, um, big shout out. I'm going to post his book down below. Big shout out to Cassie. Um, Cassie has been helping self-publishers um, around the world in Dubai, in Venezuela, in uh, all over the world. Um, you know, um, and also other high ticket affiliate marketers. So um, he has an amazing book on um, how to get started with self-publishing. And uh, I just think it's a resource that more people, nor more people, uh, need to get in their hands. So I'm gonna put a link so you can grab his stuff and I'll even put a link to his channel because he he has some gold um, Coming out there before uh, as well. So big shout out to my boy Cassie um, Miami all right, so we are what's the date? What's the date today the 12th? They're seeing this on what the 14th <clears throat> So we're I don't know half a month away from Miami we're gonna do a meetup. So anybody who's in Miami, comment below. Love to connect with you. Um, inside the Facebook group, I know some of you have been reaching out to me. We're gonna do some sort of dinner or something like that. I think on the 31st. Um, time and location still to be announced, but uh, I would love to connect with all of you who are in the Miami space. That would be phenomenal. Um, to, to, to see and, and meet people. Oh, yeah. Would you like to meet everybody in Miami? Yeah. You're not coming. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, it's a daddy trip. <laughs> yeah, Raph, you're not, you're not coming either. It's not a boy's trip. Yeah. <laughs> we, I think, might be going to Bali, though. Yeah. See, to see the twins. See, I love the twins. I want to see the twins. Everybody loves the twins. Everybody loves the twins. Oh, yeah. Your that's for you. <laughs> Bobby. All right, everybody. Hey, uh, let me know what's going on below. Should I do my other weekly updates Bobby. with the kids, or should we maybe leave them out? Yeah, Bobby. Till next time, everybody. I'm a Mecca. Hit me up. Uh -huh.